Okay, let's look at some problems uh, of use of tree diagram to solve probability problems, all right? Uh, especially conditional probability, okay? Uh, so let's look at the problem. So they are, I will give quite some examples for uh, use of tree diagram in solving uh, probability problems, especially for solving a conditional probability problems, all right? Okay, let's look at this problem here. So you can uh, pause the video and try the question uh, before looking at my solution. So Joyce goes to school in the morning by taking either bus A or bus B, right? The probability that she take bus A is 1 over 3. And the probability that she is late when taking bus A is 1 over 5, right? It's a conditional probability here, right? Uh, which they give you a condition where uh, Joyce is late when he's taking bus A is 1 over 5, right? And the probability that she is late when taking bus B is 1 over 6. Alright, for this type of problem, it is uh, better for us to use the tree diagram, alright? Okay, let's look at how I want to use tree diagram to helping me solving this problem. So, uh, at first you must understand the tree diagram, right? Uh, before watching this video. So, uh, Joyce go to school by either taking bus A, means that uh, Go, he have to go to school. Uh, she have to go to school. So either is taking bus A or not bus A. Not bus A means another bus, bus B, right? Uh, bus B. So by taking bus A, there is a possibility that Joyce is late, right? I, I use the L to represent late, right? L is late to school. So late to school and taking bus A or maybe taking bus A but are not late, right? Uh, so taking bus B is late or not late, right? Uh, so this is the two events. Uh, we have two events. So either they are taking bus A or bus B later on. It's either they late or not late. <clears throat> okay, let's look at this question again. The probability that she take bus A is one third, right? Uh, one over three means that one over three for bus A. So if one over three is either bus A or bus B, right? So 1 over 3, so the other one will be 2 over 3, right? Means that the probability of taking bus B will be higher, okay? 2 over 3. And later on, the question state that uh, the probability that she is late when taking bus A. Uh, so the probability that she is late when taking bus A. Usually, we will say that uh, the meaning here is we know that, right? Given that, we know that if if she is taking uh, bus A and she is late, right? Uh, the probability that she is late when taking bus A is 1 over 5, right? Uh, so if you understand the tree diagram, right? You know that this is late given A, right? Late given A, so which is 1 over 5, right? Uh, so means that late given that she is taking bus A is 1 over 5. Alright, from here, they said the probability that she is late when taking bus B. Uh, sorry, when taking bus A is 1 over 5. So, means that 4 over 5 will be not late, right? Uh, when taking bus A, right? Uh, so, now you know that this branch is actually telling us that late because of taking bus A, right? Uh, from the question, clearly, if you read, right, the probability that she is late when taking bus A, when taking bus A is 1 over 5, right? 1 over 5. So how about, uh, and the probability that she is late when taking bus B. She is late when taking bus B, right? When taking bus B is 1 over 6, right? So understood is from here. So this is 1 over 6. Uh, 1 over 6, definitely, uh, you take 1 minus 1 over 6, right? Total up, this must be 1, the probability. So 1 minus 1 over 6, you're getting 5 over 6, all right? Uh, then you have construct a tree diagram before you're solving the, this probability problem for Joyce, all right? Okay, let's look at the question here. So what is the probability that Joyce is late on Monday, right? On a day. So means that, so... Uh, Joyce is late, right? It's late. So for A, Joyce is late. Uh, means that we're interested about she is late. Uh, she is late, maybe, uh, maybe she is late, maybe due to taking bus A, right? Uh, taking bus A 
and late to school or maybe right or maybe uh, you look at here late right uh, so late not late not late this is late uh, so these two branches is involved in the calculation right it's maybe taking bus b and late right uh, taking bus b and late to school right there is two possibility because she is taking bus a or bus b so very simple uh, in order to calculate p a intersect with l right uh, we just multiply these two right multiply these two so one over three multiply with one over five right uh, you're taking one over three multiply with one over five and b and l right uh, b l 2 over 3 multiplied with 1 over 6, right? 2 over 3 multiplied with 1 over 6. And you will get your answer, which were giving us 8 over 45, right? 8 over 45. So you can leave it in fraction. So 8 over 45 as a probability. So it means that the probability of late is around uh, 8 over 45. The chances is not very high. It's uh, around, uh, you can change it to decimal. I think you will get 0 0.177. It's something like 17.8%, right? That uh, she will late, right? From, from the calculation, we know that she will late. Either she taking bus A or bus B, uh, she will late. This is the percentage she will late, 17%, all right? 17.8%. Uh, so now, all right. Some students were asking me, sir, how, why you multiply, right? Sir, why you just multiply these two? Because A intersect L, right? Uh, the concept of three diagram must be, all right? So L given A is the same as probability of L intersect with A divided by PA, right? Uh, by PA. So, and this PL given A is 105, right? This is 105. And this is? 1 over 3, probability of taking bus A is 1 over 3, right? So when you want to calculate for A intersect with L, right? Uh, definitely you are taking 1 over 3 multiply 1 over 5, right? Uh, so this is the meaning of the three diagram here. But this one usually you know, right? Uh, you know. So I'm not going to show you this again. So we just multiply and add up, all right? All right, okay. Let's continue by look at how I answered. Uh, how I solve the problem for part B. Given that she is late, uh, we know that she is late. Uh, we know that she is late. What is the probability that she has taken bus B? Right? Uh, she has taken bus B. So it means that uh, so the probability, well, we want to do further inspection, uh, sometimes probability. So given that she is late, uh, means from the percentage she late, right? from here right from 8 over 45 you know she is late uh, so what is the probability that she has taken bus b right she has taken bus b so very simple so from here you know that the probability of taken bus b and late right divided by the probability of she is late right uh, probability of she is late actually this is a proportion of this right if you look at this, uh, if you add up these two, if you add up these two, you get the probability of she is late, right? Uh, so you know that you need to divide by 8 over 45, right? 8 over 45. And taking bus B and late, right? Bus B and late, which is 2 over 3 multiplied with 1 over 6, right? Uh, bus B and late is 2 over 3 multiplied with 1 over 6, right? <laughs> Okay, try to think carefully, right? Try to think carefully. The probability of late, uh, try to think carefully, the probability of late is the combination of A and L, B and L, right? Uh, that's why you add up these two, you're getting the total, right? The total of probability of late. This is just part of the total, right? Part of the total, because this total is these two, right? Uh, so this divide by the total. So this is called the conditional probability here. So, uh, doesn't matter, all right? If you just want to calculate, you see that probability that you're just using the formula, right? Divide that probability that uh, she is late. You can taking the probability from here, right? Uh, then divide, uh, then you're taking the probability of bus, taking bus B and late, 
Uh, so you just divide by the probability of she is late. Then you can get the probability uh, 5 over 8, right? Uh, which is 5 over 8. Can you see that? Uh, it's 5 over 8. So it means most of the time, she, Joyce, is late because of taking bus B, right? Because of taking bus B. Because from the from the all the possibility of late, the probability of she taking bus B is 5 over 8. So, okay, search so just for some extra information. So, if you know that PB given L is 5 over 8, uh, if you know that PB given L is 5 over 8, very easy, you can know that A given L, right? It's either bus B or bus A, right? Bus B or bus A because of late, right? So, this will be, you're taking 1 minus with 5 over 8. So, you're getting 3 over 8, right? 3 over 8. So, means most of the time, she late, she late is because she taking bus B, right? Because of 5 over 8, right? It's bigger than the probability for uh, she taking bus A because of late, right? 3 over 8. So, okay, this is just a method to decide something, right? Maybe, maybe her, par uh, his pa her parents want to decide for her, should take bus B or bus A. Right, uh, so it's a it's a decision making here. So when you study conditional probability here, so the most easy way, uh, the most easy now is you try to think how to calculate right uh, B given L. So it's probability of B and L. Right, multiply these two, divide by the probability of late. Right, uh, then you get the answer five over eight. That's all for this video.